One of the number one questions we get asked all the time is, what is your day job? Mm, what do we do one. for work? And do you do YouTube full time? I wish we could say we did YouTube full time because yeah. I enjoy it a lot. Yeah. But to pay our bills around here, we do freelance work. Yeah. You know, we've lived in California how long? Like, 2005. Yeah. And in that time, we've worked at like 2,000 places <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, that's pretty much true. But I mean, we could go on and on and tell you all kinds of stories. But for the most part, nowadays, we just either work freelance for uh, some of the set companies or people we've met through working at scenic places. And they'll have like side jobs and little gigs. I uh, do a little bit of traveling. Sometimes I'll set up some some shows, some traveling shows, but it's hit or miss and it comes and goes. So there's not one thing that we really depend on. It's everything combined together. Yeah. Gina does some buying and selling. Mm -hmm. um, and then we s try to sell some of our projects that we'll make from yeah. making our YouTube videos. That's right. And uh, we have always, uh, you know, made money from YouTube over the years, but like Gina said, it's never been enough to survive on solely on its own. So it's good for like an electric bill. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, not anymore. Uh, the electricity's oh, no, got <laughs> like, yeah. So yeah, no, but it's been really, really fun. We don't, uh, you know, we don't have any kind of regrets per se, but it is, it is a little bit. Yeah. It's, it's we've learned. I like to say we live feast or famine. <laughs> yeah, yes, it, it, it is too. It's yeah. it, the way that our schedule is. It's so weird because it, it's like we won't have anything, and then all of a sudden you have, have everyone yeah. calling and yeah. wanting to do something. So I know that's kind of the way it is, you know, yeah. usually. But yeah. yeah. But that's it. That's what we do. Yeah. Freelance yeah. artists. So yeah. you know we're starving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Just pretty kidding. much, pretty much. But before that, Gina was a princess. Oh, yeah. If you want to go way back, yeah. yeah. I was a character princess for parties. Yeah. Yeah, and I got to meet a lot of celebrities through that way. A lot of very fancy birthday parties, some that would blow your minds. Yeah. For like two and three-year-olds. And crazy. before that, like way before that, when we first moved here, I worked at Disneyland mm -hmm. and Universal Studios for like a week each. <laughs> I worked at Warner Brothers uh, Studios. I was a tour guide for mm -hmm. like a week or two. Yeah. And then uh, uh, worked, we had an outdoor kitchen company. Yeah, that's and the first thing we did when we came here. Yeah, mm -hmm. we made outdoor kitchens, fireplaces, fire pits. We were even making uh, fire pits for coffee, coffee bean, bean and tea, tea leaf, leaf. Mm -hmm. for a while. Yeah, and that we were catered. Yeah, Don't that's where we catering. Catering, <laughs> the two of us, we would yeah. drive to all these different places and yeah. yachts and yep. and we did award like the oscars and all yeah. kinds of stuff and so we were around a lot of the famous people but yeah. we weren't talking to them or yeah. we were giving them food but <laughs> I, <laughs> but the, 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 then once we got all that out of our system yeah. i mean gosh. i've had a lot of serving jobs yes. i was a waitress for yes. a very long time and i was a i was a server too i just was really horrible at it um, <laughs> Christopher is not good at multitasking. Let's just say that. No. <laughs> More than one table? No. You don't oh want gosh. me being your server. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I never, uh, yeah I you were a golf pro? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, no, I, <laughs> I wish I was a golf pro. I worked at a golf course and. and you worked for a golf pro, yeah, sorry. Yeah, you worked for a golf pro. There you go. I worked at a few different set shops mm -hmm. and I was lucky enough to have. Gina come work at one of them. So yeah. we were able to go to lunch together, together. every yeah. day and stuff. And then also too, a lot of the jobs that I've had where I have had to travel like to Hawaii or Philadelphia or some of these fun places to visit, I've been able to take her with me. Yeah. And uh, they always were really good about flying her out so we yeah. could spend time together. So it's been an, quite the adventure. adventure. It's, it's been, been a fun. long time though, since we got to do that together. Yeah. One of my favorite jobs, I really loved doing the princess parties, but I got to make candy in a candy factory. Oh that yeah. That was a lot of fun. Cause it wasn't like a huge candy factory, but I got to make jelly candies. Yeah. And I was in charge of three huge kettles and you would start one and then start the other and start the other one. And you just did that all day long and you'd pour it and you make it and you pour it and you make it. I loved that job so much. Yeah. It was so much fun to see all of the way that like the chocolate candies are made yeah. and all of that. It was a lot of fun. The mini golf course was fun too. Yeah. That was just kind of stressful because of time, but that was a fun job. Yeah, that was a fun job. So here's a really cool story. So when 
You know, when I was working at a lot of the set shops, you know, we were building a lot of sets for a lot of musicians and things like that. And uh, I also was traveling a lot for an army project that they did. And it just, I basically got burnt out. I was just working lots and lots of hours. I loved the job, but I just was getting tired. And when you get I tired, think you it's missed like... Every mm. single one of my birthdays for like yeah. five years. Because you were always gone. Yeah, anniversaries. Yeah. Can yeah. I name drop really quick? Sure. <laughs> He got to build sets for Carrie Underwood and Lady Gaga, Metallica. He got to do a really big electric chair for them, right? Yeah, On yeah. tour. Oh, and this yeah. is probably around 2010, 2011, 2012. Yeah, uh, we did a, a pyramid for Kanye, Kanye West. West. We did sets for, you know, um, the chairs for The Voice. Yeah. The, uh, 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 what else? Like, you know, just you Victoria's did a Julia Secret. A lot of, yeah, a lot of yeah. different types of... Um, yeah, there was a Chevy commercial where I built a house. house. I got to go out on the um, the Disney, you know, the, the ranch yeah. and build a house. And just lots and lots of different types of, you know, sound stages and studio work. And it was all fun. And that's kind of like one of the reasons why we moved to Los Angeles was to, you know, get to experience all that kind of yeah. stuff. But like anything, it's weird because you think you want something and then... You start doing it and you're like, oh boy, I want to be with my wife or yeah. I want to be home more yeah. or whatever. So um, like some of us feel that way. But <laughs> I, um, we like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, we decided to kind of walk away from that and try to do stuff together. And um, it was neat because there was a, a like a reality show that was coming on or sending out flyers to do auditions for him. Oh. Gina signed me up for one. Yes, it was called America's... Handyman? Or All-American All Handyman. All-American Handyman. Oh, yeah, gosh. yeah. Okay. It was called All-American Handyman, and it yeah. was an HGTV show, and they had already had two seasons and two winners. Sure. So this was the third season that they were coming out with. Yeah. And I signed you up. Yeah. And guess who made it on the show? Yeah. I, you guys may have watched it not knowing that Christopher was a contestant. Yeah, yeah. And it was a lot of fun. I mean, a good experience. And there were so many weird things. Like, it, in Gina and our, in our life, everything kind of has been so... It, it, I mean, it, well, it always works out. Like, there's always <laughs> so many different things. And in this particular thing, it, it was cool because normally in the seasons past, they filmed in New York. And even though I had to fly there to do some of the auditions, they filmed it in Los Angeles. So every day, Gina was sneaking <laughs> over to the hotel, hotel. picking yeah. me up, and I was able to see her and have lunch and stuff. Yeah. And, uh, so that was really cool. But anyway, long story short, I didn't win that particular show. And there was like a cash prize at the end of it or something to buy stuff at Sears at the time. Yeah. But what was really cool, and the reason why this is important is because... I made friends with all the uh, workers and the people building the sets and stuff for that show. And they offered to give us all the tools. Yeah, because they were just going to really throw them away, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got, I mean, Everything it was Everything you can think of, Craftsman had for tools. <laughs> yeah, I mean, brand new in the yeah. box. Like table saw, yeah, chop saw, saw, like air hoses. And I mean, Jeannie even got like gardening flowers and stuff, yeah. gardening tools and stuff like that. And so what was really neat about that is around that same time we got contacted or no, did you contact? Yeah, I contacted. I was very yeah. like, I, I want to work with Chris now. Full -time. Yeah. I don't want to go to a nine to five. I want to slave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be my Every own day. boss. Yes. Yes. Work. 24 7 all the time now <laughs> yeah no it, it it so she found uh um a little ad you mm -hmm. know i think yeah. it was on craigslist or something yeah. for uh some a western somebody building camp western they camp. wanted to because yeah. i think in the fourth grade curriculum here in california is they learn about the california gold rush yeah and i had contacted them and they didn't get back to me and i wasn't taking no for an answer i at least wanted them to say oh we hired someone else or whatever so I think a couple of weeks went by and every other week I would check in and just be like, hey, just wanted to see if you were interested. And I kept sending him some of our YouTube stuff that we had done. And then finally he got back to me. I was like, yes, I'm interested. Please come out. And so we went and then that's how the whole VT ranch yeah. um, camp for the, you know, we did a bank uh, general facade, store, general store, mining jail. Area, yeah. Panning. Yeah, it was, panning area. It was a really neat. Box. And it was also kind of the start of our YouTube. And 
you didn't get paid back then for YouTube. So it was just merely because you wanted to, yeah, you know, was... have fun and, and show people stuff. And I think a couple of years later, they started to do the, you know, monetization, and yeah, I don't ad even revenue and stuff like that. But that has also helped Chris and I, you know, a little yeah. bit. But each one of those projects led, led to, to another something project. something else, which led to something and else. That, and that's the point. So what's neat about our whole experience with YouTube is we actually have gotten a lot of work yeah, through too. people contacting us yeah. after they watched a video or something. And so like even like the, the miniature golf course mm -hmm. job that we got. And anime. Anime. Yeah, yeah our anime sets and stuff. a huge anime convention and one of our viewers was like, hey, we're getting ready to do all these photo ops. Are you guys interested? And yeah. we're like, yes. And that was our bread and butter for a yeah. long time. And we were very grateful for that. And yeah. it was a lot of fun because every set was different. Yeah. You know, and the people we worked for were so awesome. Yeah. Wonderful. So shout out to Tim. Yeah. Out there. <laughs> and you know, it's funny. I just thought of, but that might be part of the reason why our, our, the videos on our channel have, uh, have constantly been changing, changing and evolved yeah. because it, it if one project leads to another, another project to another, it's yeah. kind of you know been kind of strange like yeah. as far as not being one type of theme but yeah it's been a really cool adventure so if anybody wants that no. yeah do you guys need some work <laughs> yeah preferably not in california yeah no, i'm just kidding you guys watched our other video <laughs> But, um, no, if anybody needs any work, you know, we're freelance artists and if we don't have anything else going on, we always appreciate the work. Yeah, absolutely. You know, especially if it's uh, something super creative and fun. Yeah. Yeah. We'll yeah. do, we'll do the dry stuff too, though. Pay the bills. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that's, I mean, that's pretty yeah. much it. You know, it hasn't always been easy for us to, to, to scrape by, but we've always been able to make it work somehow yeah. and pay, you know, the bills. and. Yep. And uh, we've survived this long. Yeah. It's this long. So. And I notice I'm becoming cheaper and cheaper. Yeah, yo, <laughs> well, that's just it too, you guys. Like, it's really important to say that, you know, a lot of the things that we've made, we've been lucky enough to find freebies. And Gina goes to garage sales. She's always finding things cheap. Like, you know, and that's been a huge saving grace. Because mm -hmm. if we had to buy all the foam and all the wood and flats. It, 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 like I, there's no way we would be able to no, afford to do we're very what we blessed do, that is so. one thing about living where we do i think being from where we are where we live right now has yeah. been a huge blessing in the fact that we have a lot of resources around mm -hmm. us you know if this home depot doesn't have it you can drive to 20 sure. other ones and you're probably going to find it so yeah that that's been really good and able to let us all the freebies from old um sets like people giving yeah. away flats and foam and yep. projects and stuff i mean we've been able to take it and hoard it and <laughs> use it for other projects which you know yeah. lets us make a little bit extra money because yeah. we've held on to all this crap yeah a lot a lot of people too like put their stuff out on, on the, the curb on the curb and yeah. then we yeah. we i miss some sometimes too i'm like oh dang it because i'll walk and i'll see it and then i come yeah. back and it's gone well i hope that answers your question about what we do yeah every day yeah for a day job yeah yeah all right you guys stay tuned we're gonna have a couple more answer questions yeah right? let us Q know if you have yeah, any more you have questions. Any questions if you like these kind of videos yeah. want us to keep making it's more. nice because we don't have to build something yeah <laughs> Yeah, it is. And it's kind of, I have such a horrible memory. I have to like, what what did we do that year? That kind of thing. So this is kind of fun. I'm like re-educating myself. Hey, and you know what? We can look on, back on it many yeah. years from now and say, oh yeah, that's what we did. <laughs> when we really don't remember. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.